Continuing the string of good news today, which is kind of nice. Everything you need to know about Overwatch World Cup qualifiers. I already know some of this. I'll obviously read through it, but I'm pretty happy with this. I think World Cup is exactly what the community needs needs right now to heal. There's a lot of there's a lot of shit flying around. There's a lot of emotions flying around. World Cup has always historically been one of the things that kind of unites the community. Um, and so I hope that it succeeds and I actually will get to be a part of it, quote unquote, this year because there's going to be co-streams, but we'll get there. We're going to Overwatch World Cup 2023 online qualifiers. Now that Denmark, Portugal, Iceland and Finland became qualified through Wildcard Challenge, the stage is set for teams to earn their spots in the final Overwatch World Cup land tournament in four years. Chat, the last time World Cup LAN happened, I wasn't even a streamer. I was still working in Overwatch League. I actually tried to go to BlizzCon. So there was something that conflicted that I actually needed to stay home for. And I was really sad. Online qualifiers, June 22nd through July 2nd, which is next week. APAC, we ain't gonna be getting APAC. Uh, unless I just leave my stream on and go to bed. I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, EMEC, EU basically, like, you know, European time zones. Uh, might be able to catch that if I get up in, on time, but who knows? Uh, and then there is the American Times, uh, which is, well, I mean, you kind of have to read it because it's in military time, but 2 o'clock PT, so that's 5 o'clock EST? That's a late start, actually. I mean, I'm surprised to see it's that late of a start, but it looks like we're going to be doing some late streams um, starting on these days. Maybe I'll catch these in time. Actually, 9 a.m.? 9 a.m. EST? F am I gonna get up at 9 a.m. At 9 to co-stream a, a, a World Cup? I don't know. Ah, it. Why not, right? Why not? You can find the full match schedule here. It's not a clickable link. I'm pissed. Anyways, where to watch? Uh, watch live and earn Overwatch World Cup drops for Overwatch 2 on the following platforms. Play Overwatch Twitch and YouTube and Overwatch Contenders Twitch as YouTube. There is, this This article is slightly poorly worded. The drops are going to be uh, category wide. So it's not just gonna be for Overwatch, it's category wide. Um, you can also tune in some of your favorite streamers and content creators will host online qualifier watch parties. Watch parties, take part in the celebration. Host watch parties, fans, streamers, and content creators are all invited to join in by using the following titles and hashtags when co-streaming. Title Overwatch World Cup 2023 Watch Party with hashtag OWWC Stream Team. Uh, Overwatch World Cup Stream Team. Drops are enabled for all online qualifiers watch parties. So I will be streaming uh, World Cup. I'll be streaming, co streaming them all, or as many as I can. Uh, Twitch.tv slash flats if you need it. Uh, and you will also be able to get drops. So if you're wondering, what's the drops? Drops, drops, and more drops. Kicking off the 2023 Overwatch World Cup qualifiers with an in-game reward starting from June 18th to July 2nd. Watch and earn World Cup celebratory cosmetics when watching on Twitch. Watch two out. Okay, so these are all uh, consecutive. So back to back to back to back to back. So it's going to be a lot of hours. So strap in. Watch two hours earn a World Cup spray, then another two hours for a play player icon, then another four hours for the Winston World Cup home and away skins, another four hours for the Wrecking Ball World Cup home and away skins, another four hours for the Zenyatta World Cup home and away skins, and then another additional four hours for the Ramatra World, World Cup home and away skins for a total of 20 hours of drop time. That is a lot. You need a place to lurk. Twitch.tv slash floods. Anyways, uh, be sure to connect your Battle.net accounts to Twitch and tune in for to earn rewards. Visit Play Overwatch World Cup and learn more. Okay. That's not all. It's actually really cool. Crowdfunded prize pool. For the first time in Overwatch history, we'll be crowdfunding the, the World Cup prize pool with an exciting state of skins, or sorry, slate of skins and other in-game cosmetics over the coming months. That's really fucking cool. Now, obviously, there's going to be people be out there like, what, 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 billion dollar company can't even pay for its own prize pool? Shut up. I kind of agree with you, but hear me out. They are only going to ever set X amount of money aside, you know, whether it's 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever the amount is. There should be a small base, and then the skins should build on it. I agree with you. I am with you on that. But what this does is technically makes it an unlimited cap. And that's really good for players. That's really good for competition. 
and hopefully the skins are cool. So let's keep it rolling. 25% of all Overwatch World Cup cosmetics and bundles will contribute to Overwatch World Cup prize pool. There will be no contribution cap. So prizing will continue to grow until crowdfunding ends on the last day of Overwatch World Cup Finals. Whoa. Wait, like Finals Finals? Like, whoa. That's like, that's probably, nah, that's a long way out. Ah, okay. Assuming, assuming it's, uh, assuming it's going to be probably at BlizzCon. There's no reason. Uh, I mean, I guess it could, no, it's going to be at BlizzCon. There's no reason why it wouldn't be. In celebration of our return, we are also allocating a portion of the prize pool to all teams competing in the tournament. Percentages will be determined based on tournament placement, with 73% of the prize pool going to the top 16 teams qualifying for LAN, and the remaining 27% equally distributed among the teams that competed on the online qualifiers and wildcard challenge. Oh, that's cool. So even the teams that like didn't make it to LAN are still going to get some money? That's really cool. I like that. Um, so here's the placements. First gets 25% of it, second 10, third 8, fourth 6, fifth 3%, ninth 16%, ninth through 16th is 1.5%, and 17th through 43rd is 1%. Now you might say, like, but fine, it's 1%, yeah, but like they didn't get anywhere, you know what I mean? Like, the fact that they still got anything is still cool. I like that. That's. Lulu did that for her tournament. Like, my team got absolutely smoked. We didn't win a single game. I was really sick at the time, so I played like absolute shit. And we still got like 200 bucks just for playing. You know what I mean? Like, that was cool. I didn't, I, I don't actually think I filled out the paperwork. <laughs> but the point is, though, they still, they were like, hey, you participate. You still get 200 bucks. I was like, oh, what? That's awesome. You know, I, I think that's really cool. Our first bundles, the con, sorry, our first bundles, the conference bundles, will be on sale from June 20th to 26th. Dude, this is the one time I might actually shill and say, like, buying these might not be a bad idea because, like, it actually goes to a good cause. Uh, they feature the new Overwatch World Cup home and away skins for heroes, hailing from each of the three regional conferences. So, one bundle looks like it's going to be Reaper Ash, Widow Ryan, Eva Kiriko. Oh, that one's going to go crazy. Um, as we get closer to the finals, we'll unveil our legendary and supporter bundles. We are particularly excited about the legendary skin, which is worthy of deep blue gods that inspired it. You can check out a sneak peek of the skin's concept art below. Whoa. Wait, so 25% of this Sojourn skin is also going to go to the prize? That thing's going to... Dude, they're going to be out in the fields fucking farming on this thing. God damn, dude. That's all. I'm actually really happy. I, I don't, I'm not obviously participating in World Cup. And I'm not really like involved other than watch parties, but... Uh, I really do enjoy World Cup. I think it's one of the best parts of Overwatch, and I really hope that that succeeds. As a thank you for all the supporters of the Overwatch World Cup crowdfunding campaign, we'll also be rolling out fun milestone rewards like celebratory sprays and player icons that will be distributed to all Overwatch 2 players. Milestone rewards will be revealed alongside the, over the announcement of the Overwatch World Cup legendary and supporter bundles this fall. That's good. Those are actually pretty good. I like, uh, I think milestones that reward everybody and like, you know, like if you log, log into the game, you're like, why did I get a random icon? You know what I mean? You might look into it and be like, oh, it's from World Cup. What the f it's World Cup. You know what I mean? And so then you look into it and it might get people more interested. That's really cool. And then stay informed, whatever. Actually, really cool changes. Uh, the skins do kind of look a little bit like a uh, Walmart Philly Fusion. <laughs> a little bit. But the Soldier one's really cool. And I like what the cause is behind it. So I'm totally down. And, uh, yeah, if you need a place to watch drops, you know where to go. I will be here co-streaming them. I don't know if we're going to do spectate style or watch point, watch party style. Um, I actually have an idea with Emong, which I don't think is going to be ready in time. Um, because he's moving into a new place. Like, we had, like, a whole idea for, like, a stream setup at his house. Uh, but I don't know if that'll come around in time. But, yeah, twitch.tv slash flats if you want to watch some drops and want to watch some games. And, uh, it's going to be 20 hours total. So, got to leave your computer AFK somewhere. BP, are you cool with me showing that on stream? So BP made this. Uh, schedules out American times are fine from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. each day. Uh, America's Canada versus US, uh, Canada versus USA, 7 p.m. Friday. Bit of a missable match. Storylines are crazy. USA hasn't scrimmed. Toronto Defiant Core is basically Team USA, but is underperforming really bad now. Oh, wait, I'm in the way. Is underperforming really bad in Owl. Uh, Colombia has EQO, and it would be really cool to see them play. A lot of South American teams will be interesting to watch. 
A lot of former pros shifted to Valorant and South America no longer exists as a contenders region. It'll be interesting to see new talent, for sure. If you're interested in vaguely looking at other regions but don't want to commit at all, I'd suggest for APAC, Australia, team that'll make it. Watching India, a bunch of Indian Americans coached by Natter. They're playing from Vancouver and will be a good rookie story. Team Thailand, most players on the roster just won APAC contenders. Team Japan, dude, honestly, I don't know what it is, but Japan Overwatch actually is insane. Uh, they are very much diehard fans. Like, really cool uh, to see Overwatch uh, Japan fans, or Japan Overwatch fans. Um, I'm, I don't think that's really well, well known, though. I'm fairly sure they'll qualify out of their group. They're a contenders team called Veril, coming second in APAC contenders. Team South Korea, obviously. Australia versus India, 1 p.m. Friday. Thailand versus India, 2 a.m. Saturday. Can Natter assembled super team beat the top Asia Pacific contenders team? Japan versus South Korea, 6 a.m. Sunday. Rest of APAC should be stomped. EMEA is by far the most competitive region. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day for you. So, by the way, when, when BP made this, it was for J. So, it's EST. J's in Florida. I'm in Mass. So, like, same time zone. Uh, but the match suggestions are watching Saudi Arabia. Big favored by pro scene, but also relatively unknown by greater community. That's true. That's actually really, really true. Um, they've, they've actually been kind of going hard recently. Watching Denmark. They were forced into the wild cards, coming from the very bottom of World Cup, and will likely make it a great story. True, I like Team Denmark a lot. Denmark and Finland are, 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 are always a good time. Iceland joined as an emergency last-minute sub into World Cup, made it through wild cards, literally a Cinderella story if they qualify. Watching Sweden, because they're stacked. Watching UK, half of the Owl players the goat. will probably be playing on ping from West Coast, might not even qualify. Uh, watching France, also players on ping. Also, they have a thousand coaching staff. <laughs> uh, watching Netherlands, big step down from power last time, but really interesting underdogs. And then watching Finland, LH Cloudy. <laughs> Finland versus Saudi Arabia, Thursday, 10 a.m. Saudi Arabia's first game, big favorite, and will also relatively unknown players. Uh, Sweden versus Finland, uh, Friday, 9 a.m. And Cloudy Carry, he will be streaming it too. If you want to watch his POV slash comms, I'm pretty sure. Uh, UK versus Denmark, three Friday, 3 p.m. Denmark's first game. Bunch of owl players in this one. Sweden versus Turkey, Saturday, 7 a.m. or sorry, 11 a.m. Romani uh, versus Lethal versus Sweden. Or sorry, Romani and Lethal versus Sweden. Oh, my bad. Romani and Lethal versus Sweden might be funny. Netherlands versus France, Saturday, 3 p.m. Uh, Sweden versus Saudi Arabia. Sunday, 11 a.m., GBR versus France, Sunday, uh, Sunday, 3 p.m., rivalry match. That's really cool. Thank you for this. Thank you for making this. Uh, that way, we have a good way to keep track of what we want to watch and what times they're on. So, big poggies. Big poggies. <laughs>